welcome back to episode you. four of the Drawing Blinks podcast. This is Brandon, that is Dylan, and I am Paris. Still. Are Topic we, one. Are we in Alaska, Paris? We are in Alaska. <laughs> I am wearing a hat. For reason. Mostly because my hair is all fucked up. It's always fucked up. And apparently <laughs> You're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I was. <laughs> Topic one. The division review. I'm gonna let you speak first because I know you oh, think a little right. differently from us. Uh, I didn't like it. I didn't. I don't know. I just something about shooting somebody in the face over and over again kind of pisses me off. I'd be. I would shoot at him for like a good solid minute until he falls to the ground. I don't know about you, but if I get shot in the head, I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're going down. Yeah, I'm dead. Is there anything else? Is it just that? It just felt like I was just doing the same mission over and over again anyways. I played a little bit more, but I didn't. So it It felt very geometric to me. Very geometric. See, like, what does that mean? (laughs) Like, everything was set up one way. I couldn't... I had to go in one way, I had to come out that same way. So it's linear. No, linear would be like going one way and keep going that way. Okay. I feel like boxes next to boxes next to boxes. Just, alright, go there now. Now you can go there. Now you can go back okay, there. So you can't, like, go wherever you kind of want. It, it's, it's kind of the missions dictate where you're going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, like, world, you can pick what mission but it's, like, the pick. same yeah. mission over and over again. But, like, like you just in a different area. You can't a new pick, box. You can't pick different missions to go yeah, to. You can go to any mission you want. Okay. Yeah. So, is what did you thing? like about it? Because okay, I know I mean, you guys liked I, it. I, I, liked I liked it. it. I'm not going to say it's a great game. Like, it's a good game. I do not like the enemies don't go down. It's like, I do put a whole mag in their heads and they still aren't down. But I kind of understand, like, the aspect of why that is. It's an MMO. Really. It's an MMO, so you're going to take a lot of hits. Yeah. But it's just not satisfying when I shoot someone in the head with a gun. I think the gameplay's fine. The cover system is probably the best cover system I've ever seen. It's a good cover system. The game. Yep. It works perfectly. They had a good movement. Yep. Um, the loot is good. The loot's fine. The character customization isn't good. That's oh, another it's pretty, ball, uh, I would say. Pretty game. weak. Very weak. Better customization DC Universe from 2001. DC Universe was pretty good. It was pretty fucking awesome. That was a really good uh, cluster, a character customization. I love the shield pack. It was fucking cool. I never used that. But I saw you use it and that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was trying to pick it up when you dropped it. Yeah. But I was like, fuck. <laughs> it disappears like, after like you drop yeah. it. Um, the guns are good. Um, the map looks really cool. The the map is- especially when it snows. Yeah, I didn't the game looks it gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. It's only but, been snowing. What? Really? It's, it's been it's snowing. snowing that whole it's time? Yeah. Sold, we're high. Wow. Wow, dude, I'm pretty sure it's I'm, I'm snow thinking, game. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Nighttime when it snows, it looks amazing. Oh, okay. Right. Right. Okay, that makes more yeah. sense. The day, it's just like a flurry. Yeah, because it is always snowing. But it's, it's been snowing since the game started, Brandon. <laughs> okay, so it's Why'd nice. you look at me? He's the one that brought it up. I did. He fixed himself. I did. Well, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> him fixing him. But, uh, I, what else is really uh, cool? New York City looks amazing. Apparently it's a one-to-one replica of it, but I don't know how that true that is, but it looks amazing. You see, like, the rats going through the city. Um, overall, it's a fine game. I, if I was to give it, like, a score or anything, like, I haven't played it too, like, much, but I put in at least two hours with Dylan. I played a little bit with you. with you. You played a lot more than me. You've I maxed was, out your character, right? It's level 30. Are you fucking high? I'm gonna go yeah. I thought you told me he was level 30. You have another character. No, that's DC Universe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Level 8, I'm like level 4 or something like that. I've been playing it a little bit more than I have. I'm a solid level 2. Level 2, so you're probably solid never gonna level get to level 4. I'm probably gonna sell it. Okay. <laughs> so if I were Manny, you could So yeah. what do you think about the game though? I'd give it a 7. 7? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what I would give. I'd give it a 6. Is it like any other... You hate something that maybe I didn't hate or he didn't hate. Is it like kind of what I said? Is no, yeah, so they change it. Yeah, I mean it's not like anything crazy. Like when I first saw it come out, like the trailers and everything, I thought it was gonna be like a really good game. But it's fine. It's now fine. you pl- you guys play Destiny. Yeah. If you were to compare this random. this to Destiny, because a lot of people bring up the comparison Destiny with Division. Yeah, no contest. What do you th- no contest? You think Destiny yeah. takes it all away? Yeah. Give me a reason. I just. They have like weaker enemies and they have really strong enemies, so I don't feel like an asshole and I'm trying to kill these tiny guys and I can't, but then the big guys come, like, well, at least he's eating them for a reason. The leveling system's, I think, better. better. I, you can, it's just, I don't know, something about it. Does Destiny have a character customization? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Is it a lot better than this? 
Uh, it's not great. But it's a lot better than yeah. division though, because division's just that bad. Yeah, they just have you a, have like five faces to choose from on a division. <laughs> yeah, was really and there's like two million players, they're all looking <laughs> the same and shit. Topic two. Jesus Are we still excited for Pokemon Go after the leaked gameplay footage? So if you guys didn't know there's some leaked gameplay footage of Pokemon Go, I don't think it's still up. Nintendo probably put uh, put that down. Um, basically it just showed wh how the game plays and it looks yeah, boring. Like, I don't think it looks boring. I kind of think it's what it, what it was gonna be to begin with. There's no battles from what it looks like. Just gym, like, yeah, like um, gym battles once in a while, but it looks like it's just catching. Not even. Pokemon. You put a Pokemon up and it stays okay. there for a little while Brandon, until someone beats it. Give us a little bit of your. I was hoping that when they uh, when they were doing this, that like you'd bring out your little camera, right, and you'd see a Pokemon like on the street, and it was they would have like a realistic version, not maybe like. Fantastic, realistic, but like realistic enough where you're like, wow, that's kind of cool. But it just looks like they like went to Fire Red, took an EV, copy and pasted it, and slapped it to the, your camera. Now, it's not even like on the ground even. That's like it's just like crooked and shit. And having the real world world map is like an option, I guess, in the game. Like you can have the real world map, and you can have like the virtual map. It's like an option you can turn on and off. Yep. And obviously, turning on the real world map is it looks shitty when the Pokemon comes up because it is literally copied and pasted. Yeah, it just doesn't look very much like that. <laughs> you were hoping for a realistic version of the Pokemon. Like I was like hoping that like if I saw like a Goldeen, like it, this shit be like jumping out of the water a you little bit. Die? Maybe, no, like if you like to put it like on the ocean and shit, you wouldn't be able to catch these ones obviously, okay. but you'd see them and shit. Seeing like a real ver realistic version, I never thought that would happen. <laughs> I didn't want to. I don't, no, I don't want to see like. That's crazy. I don't want to see like an Eevee and be like, oh shit, is that a cat or an Eevee? No, I want to be like, that's obviously an Eevee. But it's like a real world version of it. Like story. you can tell, like it's obviously not from Earth. But okay. it, it, you, it like it's close enough to where you're like, all oh, right, well I see where they were going. It's a little bit better than the copy. Yeah, and paste. Just copy and paste. Well, it was off. are from Earth, though. All Pokemon are from Earth. Okay, so basically, from the footage, <laughs> you're that. just flicking a Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Pokemon. Yeah, it's Do you guys remember that like, screen? It just from that, yeah, that, that yeah, game from like 2003, we had the little ball and you bounce it off the thing into the little uh, sections. <laughs> that's kind of like it. So Steve ball. Uh, Steve ball. Kind of, yeah, it's a lot of games, one, like yeah. toss the paper into the basket. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, you ever play flip football? Yeah. You flip the football. It's basically that. It's a little stupid gimme thing. But gimme? I guess you're not really. Yeah, you don't battle it. Like, yeah. I don't know if you are. This gym, like, there's gyms. And, like, I don't know what you do. Like, I feel like all you do is catch Pokemon, and you go to the gym, you face six Pokemon, and then leave. And then you yeah. find another gym. You only do that eight times, obviously, because eight fucking matters. I'm sure they'll recycle it somehow. So, hey, you can go to this region now. You can get 64 badges now. The Elite Four. Yeah, like, new DLC coming in for $5. Like, the way we were thinking about it, like, last, like... Yeah, last, last, podcast. last podcast. We had such high expectations. We were, like, going really deep into, like, what this game could be. And yep, just... and it's just got no depth. Now, this isn't, <laughs> like, the... like. Maybe they were just testing maybe, something. This maybe. was, like, a test footage, yeah. kind of. So maybe it's not... It's, it's not, not the final product. It's not pre-alpha. It's something like that, so it's not really representing. They could up the graphics. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. So we are seeing a shitty version. As it stands right now, but shit. And apparently it was leaked, but so they're not. They yeah. don't want to show us. Yeah. So maybe it's just like yeah. They don't want to show us because they knew we fucking hate it. Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, that's <laughs> probably. Well, a lot of people like it. They think it's fine because they didn't have like our expectations. Yeah. It is a mobile game, not a <sighs> like a console. But it still looks good. I still yeah. get it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't download it. Yeah. Uncharted next week. Uh, <laughs> Uncharted's next week, guys. Uncharted is coming out next well, week. Hopefully this video gets posted by this week. <laughs> you know what? Hey man, can assassinate you while you're sleeping with all the fellows. I don't know, I don't know. Transition, really transition into the review of episode two of Hitman. Hitman episode two <laughs> review. This is topic number three. I'm gonna let Brandon talk about it first. <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. You're the closest one to me. I'm gonna I am, I am technically the closest one to you. Yeah. I liked it a lot better than the episode, episode one. Is you, episode one. Episode one. <laughs> I, I just, 
Is there any a lot higher security? You couldn't just walk around as much as you want. You couldn't just find one guy that has clearance everywhere. Oh. It was in depth. You had to do a couple things before you could actually complete any it's goals. It's a lot harder. Than yeah, than I thought. it was it's more like difficult. larger. Like, it's like it goes from one building to another to another to another to like, another. Way downtown, where you have to find a dead body and where it's cold. The beach. And shit. Yep. Fucking ooze. You go to the beach, you can go to the fucking, like, the mountain. The Exploding golf balls? Come on. I was just gonna yeah. say that. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was buddy. pretty funny. It was... I found a new way in, actually. Ooh. We're on the left side. Whoa. Fresh. Yeah. So it was... Ooh. It was like taking what episode one did and just hanging it up. So it kind of, like... <laughs> so it's kind of like they... They have to take some feedback from the people. Like, they're making every episode that seems better. Hopefully yeah, episode seem... three is better. Episode three, yeah. Episode three. Episode Hopefully two. Episode three. Episode three. Episode three. No, I'm saying, I'm episode saying, I hope episode three, episode three will be better. I feel like we should go to like Siberia in this episode. Oh, I, I think, think it's based on Europe. Where was the first, first one? Was where? Paris. Paris. The second one was Italy, Italy right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go to Greenland then. I thought this map was better than Paris. Obviously. Yeah. It was better. Better. Paris is yeah. one building. That's yeah. all it was. Like you can go around one's that one's building, building, but it's just one main building. This one has one main building. Then another main building, and then a fucking underground world. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> the highlight of our whole episode two like walkthrough, which we should post soon. That should be up soon. Yeah, that'll be up channel. soon. Check it out. Plus, we have but, Hitman, uh, wa- uh, Hitman uh, unboxing. During the, you should really check that out. It's very interesting. During the gameplay, I think it was you who was playing. Of you had like the like the villain, whatever, who's gonna go golfing. Yeah. And you had the explosive golf ball, and you put it like where he was gonna shoot the golf balls. He picks it up. Dylan's like hiding, like <laughs> five feet away behind like his wall. He's way out there. He goes to swing the club. Feet. Yeah. He goes to swing the club. He just blows up, lands right in front of Dylan, smacks on the ground. It was, yeah. it was really cool. Like, it's really cool the way you can just. It's really fun energy. seeing a man die. It is in, in that, multiple in different that ways. Fashion, multiple different ways. I mean, episode. I feel like he should be all over the place. The better episode. I understand why he wasn't. I don't think it's that great of a king. It's, it's, a, it's a good game. All together, we'll it's be, a good, uh, we'll be solid game. Solid game. It's a solid yeah. demo. It's a solid, it's a solid demo. I would that it's just a fucking demo for like when you get the entire game. package. Anyways, that's fine. Cut. Cut. Topic number four. Dev Six Mankind Divided 101 trailer came out. Just kind of talking about what we think about the trailer. What did you just say? The Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I thought he was like, on one trailer. Like, fucking. Never mind. You're okay. Alright. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're, you know what I said? No, I didn't. That's why I asked. Okay. So this No, I understand now the second time. But the first time you said things that no man could understand. I understood everything. Alright, so I didn't understand. Okay. I might punch <laughs> But let's go with that. Uh, let's go with your opinion about the review. I'm going to go with Dylan this, this time. Alright, Dylan. Because I don't think he even talked about Hitman. Yeah, you did. You did. Did he? Did you? Be honest. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't think I did. Right. Dude, I, I played it, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I played after the fact. Too. I thought the trail looked bomb as shit. That's what I thought. I was like, wow, this is looking great. Oh, damn time. I've been talking to you about Deus Ex for the past six months. And you've, you've been, been talking to me before, 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 you, can, before oh. you continue talking. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. You did say Dylan can go first, but you just lied. <laughs> I said that Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> I did, but then he kind of Dylan sit there and, and didn't answer, so I I took over. Because then you interrupted me and said, "Hey, did you talk about him, man?" It's Sorry, Paris, you know. what did you think about the Deus Ex? Since me and him are doing a lot of the uh, heavy Argument? lifting. Argument? I can't lift. <laughs> <Never mind>. uh, <laughs> wow. Well, I don't want to go there. I'll smack <laughs> your calves right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that would hurt. Yeah. It would take me down. But uh, I thought overall it's a good trailer. Um, the thing that impressed me the most about the trailer is not the cutscenes, which are fine. I don't think graphically the game is that impressive, to be honest. It's a fine looking game. Is he high? I think he's high. Well, it, I think I think, most I think guys he's, 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 up, he's talking about like, like really, really good games compared to this game. This game I, no, I'm not really saying good. the graphics are bad. I'm saying it's they're, they're good, they're not. Division's yeah. graphics aren't that great. They're, just, they're good. They're not even on par with two six. No. Division's graphics. I thought the game, the game <laughs> play graphics on this was looking pretty good. Hopefully, no, the they watch dogs us. The thing that impressed me most is the gameplay. The multiple ways you can take down enemies. Mm-hmm. They had the, I don't know what it was. The gun that shoots out like it was like electric bolts or something. That was his hand. Yeah. That was his fist. Lightning. That shit was cool. It took yeah. out like four enemies at once. He has like the. 
What else did he fucking have? He had the shield. That he could the use. Titan shield, yeah. He said a reinforced tank cool, like, yeah. that would come in and deflect bullets everywhere. He had multiple other shit. Uh, blades in his elbows. Blades in his elbow. That's yeah. my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah, I think this so game. Cool, man. This game is the thing I wanted from kind of Hitman, not like the weapons kind of because of futuristic, <laughs> but like Hitman is more, a lot more linear than Probably. Yeah, sex. Sex seems, It's not like the most open what world the fuck game, do you mean? but it's like you can traverse more through around the world. What do you in mean? In Deus Ex, what do you know what I mean? It's like one level. Like you go from one level but to another. But it's way more, I feel. No, you go around the world, level. you can pick around like the like source of golf ball, or you could snipe them across the map. You think that's, you think this gameplay is going to be better? I think no, Hitman, no, no. Hitman is like one where you really have to know what you're doing to be able to do stuff that yeah. they're going to allow you to do. No, the Deus Ex gameplay will be more fun because it's a more, you don't go have to in keep... there and fucking murder. I don't think so. Or, or like go in there or, stealth. You yeah. go in stealth or... No, 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 you can do that. I played the last one. But Hitman, hey, you know, you can't really, you don't have that option. You have to be smart when you play. Yeah, Hitman is more like you gotta actually go it's around a self game. study and shit. One on one is a stealth game. So you're gonna walk through is kind of difficult because there's like so many now. Yeah, like Deus Ex is like the thing that just sets it apart from this. I think is the the weapons you have at your disposal. Mm. Yeah, so many. Yep. So you can just take out enemies. I think in more ways than you can in Hitman. Yeah. Well, it's a di I know it's a different nice. game. It, it just, it's just what I was hoping for, really? man. But it's not what I got. Yeah, well. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Is it? Do you guys have anything else to add to that? I'm going to go pre order it. You guys should too. The last one was amazing. The last one was good. From him. Yeah, you played it? From him. I never played it. Yeah. But I, I, I'm the, interested. I got to go to the flex yeah. position. I got to get the Adam statue. Did they have the Deus Ex like, suit in Absolution for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it was uh, in Just Cause 3. Well. I don't know. Really? I think so. I thought it was Hitman. I could be wrong. I think it was Just Cause 3. <laughs> anyway, who makes the other sex? Is it Square Enix? Edo's Inter yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so that's why. So it might have been a Then Edo's Inter International is like producing it. Yeah, overall, I thought it was a really good trailer. Alright. Alright, topic five. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer just came out. Um, so what do we think about another futuristic Call of Duty, basically? Fuck that. Yeah, I, it's I'm, so annoying now. I'm kind of uh, done with that. But I'm not against it per se. If they do it right, it's fine. Dude. Yeah. It's just every time it's just getting less and less fun. Honestly. I like Advanced Warfare more than Black Ops, I would say. For me it's just like it was faster. This is just speaking for multiplayer, but the campaign could be just fine. Because Call of Duty Black Ops 3's campaign I thought was really good. Mm -hmm. But multiplayer wise, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 wasn't that good for me. Because I don't like the whole futuristic concept of jetpacks and double jump and all that shit. And uh, I liked uh, the last one I played that I thought was really good was Modern Warfare 3, which was oh, Boots on the Ground, was, was which was, which was, was my fine. Favorite one. That was my favorite one. But apparently, with this one, if you buy it, you get Call of Duty 4, I think it is, Modern remastered. Modern Warfare 1. Yeah. Is that what it is? Modern Warfare 1. It's Call of Duty 4 Modern I feel like they should give you Modern Warfare which is, 1 and 2. And 3. Which is a Boots on the Ground. Did you play that one? The Call of Duty 4? I played like two games. I that. played 4. Did you? From what you play, did you like it? Do you even remember playing yeah, it? Yeah, I remember playing it, asshole. Oh my god. Yeah, That's asshole. Kind of question. I mean, yeah, it was good, but like, I can't remember. that you remember from 2007 or something. <laughs> I can't remember yesterday, but I can remember that game. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, I had an RPG <laughs> and shot his ass. <laughs> was, it was a good game. I, I thought it was, it was a little harder than the new game. Well, that might well, just be fine. because that's I can fly I'm... around like an asshole now. <laughs> I like it. I like it to be harder, because Call of Duty is just an arcade shooter. It was game. definitely, you had to like, Check your corners and shit. That's perfect. That's just what I want. Fucking. So apparently, like, uh... They only have ten maps, though. When you, when you pre-order your Call of Duty 4, you only get ten maps for multiplayer. And you get the campaign. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's fine. I don't know. I yeah, I don't know. Just ten, fine. though, they're just gonna keep... It's just gonna get old. But you get it if you only buy. Oh, only if you get the $100 Infinite version. Or $90 yeah. version of, uh, of Infinite Warfare. See it? Infinite Warfare. Thirty dollars for a uh, game that came out two thousand seven. The trailer looked cool for Infinite Warfare, but that's just misleading because every Call of Duty trailer is good. So it looks like it's like aliens this time or something. Are you serious? It was like did you see the trailer? No. Oh, well, there was like I huge didn't want spaceships that just hover over. That could just be an aircraft. That just probably. Could <laughs> but it just more, seemed but... different because they're like the way they were talking. It seemed like freaking uh. What's that movie coming out? Not Interstellar. Uh, Civil yeah. War. No, Civil uh, War. Independence Day. Civil War. It kind of reminded me of that, where like uh, it's just hovering over these huge spacecraft. And the thing that makes me think aliens is 
there's literally gameplay of you like inside the spacecraft shooting other spacecrafts in space. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Black Ops Two or something like that had aliens like in, instead of zombies, they had you could face aliens. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. So it could just be that again. I don't think so. It looked like it was like a campaign, like a campaign of it. Oh god. Because it definitely wasn't zombies if you're in a spacecraft. Oh, god. Destiny. In space. Is this Destiny? Yeah, that, I was like, whoa. Talk about Infinite Warfare. What the fuck? But uh, I'm. A hundred times more excited for Call of Duty 4. I'm imagine. thinking Infinite Warfare, maybe in the campaign they do time traveling because it's called Infinite Warfare. And you can go back to like Model Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Right. That would be I dope. think that'd be awesome. Even though that only incorporated the campaign, not nothing more clear, but I'd play that, the shit out of that campaign 30 times. Speaking of that, I think there actually is some of that. Like, time travel? It, it, it looked like they were warping it or some shit, I don't even know what it is. I don't think they dope. know what they're doing anymore. It's just coming back at only the campaign. Points. Save soap! Save soap. Why that, dude? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. Wait, what? No, no, no. Save so ghost. Character. Forget uh, so. Save ghost. All right. Well, they should incorporate that. Maybe like uh, multiplayer. They have different options. Like, how you can have like, like old school, like Modern Warfare Three, and then new school, like Modern Warfare. I feel like if they, they don't do something new, too much new now or new next year. That's when we're gonna start dropping off. They already started dropping off. I'd like too. more. Like we're gonna start. I, like going there. Yeah. But I feel like this is gonna make them sell. You know why? Because from Call of Duty 4 guys. I think people are gonna actually Yeah, I've seen so many pictures on Facebook. There's people sharing that says, I only buy this game because of Call of Duty 4. Exactly. Yeah, I think uh, it's gonna sell great. I think they like, knew it was gonna sell they're gonna sell regardless because it's Call of Duty. Yeah. They they knew adding this would just oh my god. I think they're still gonna go. They should have added like, like four and a couple others. I like, think I think they should just amp the price up and I'd still get it. I think they should just kept it at sixty. Because I think of that would have sold a ridiculous amount of copies because 90 is a little bit of a push. Some people won't buy 30 it. 30 bucks for just yeah. the last game. That's exactly. true, you're right. Yep. But if it had like more games to it, then it would make sense. How much did it really cost them? I think it should be like Modern Warfare 1 and Infinite Warfare, 60 bucks. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, 90 bucks. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1. Now, for just all of them for like 120 bucks. Are you going to get it, you think? Probably. I, am, I think I am too. Yeah. The thing that really made me want to get it is uh, they're like Call of Duty 4 has dedicated servers, so we can like actually like have, like, oh. a, we can pick our map we want to play in. We can pick like just us three in there. And just I think it's yeah, awesome. just us three. Private match. It really just takes me back to like so just Dylan. Yeah, it's just it's just so good. I think we just do literally one on one. Understand? And uh, I'm sorry I didn't pick up what you said. If you put me and you and Dylan in our room in COD, only Dylan's walking out of that room. <laughs> you already knew that. <laughs> we all know we're dying. It'd have to be a two-on-one, <laughs> and, and we're still not walking out of that room. I faced my entire clan on black. He doesn't beat them. He doesn't, doesn't get a yeah, weapon. Yeah. Whole... yeah, that's my cousin, dude. <laughs> all right, he beat a whole clan. It already fucked his, his clan too. <laughs> his clan. They knew how he played this, though. He's still beat. <laughs> yep. But I think I'm gonna pick it up just because Call of Duty Four. Yep. Dedicated servers. They're actually like making some changes to the original game. It's gonna be good. If you keep looking at me like that, I might slap you. That's a, that's a different All topic right, for another day. Topic. That'll be topic seven of the fifth podcast. Six. Okay. All right, cut. Yeah, fucking Talk Alaskan like faggot. Talk to me like that again. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I just wanted to get All right, it. topic six. Neo demo gameplay first impressions. From no. Paris. From Paris. Yeah, I'm perhaps the only one who wasted his time. Uh, I don't think it's a waste of time. I think it's actually a really good game. Oh yeah? Have you played the Souls games? Uh, I haven't, but which one? There's some. Or Bloodborne. Bloodborne or Souls? You played Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Have you played Bloodborne or uh, Dark Souls? Me and my God. God. Demon Souls. Is Blood. Bloodborne. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Do you like loading screens? Cause that's all you're looking at. Okay, this game doesn't have fucking loading. Because you're gonna die. But do you like it? That kind of gameplay. I thought it was. Enough. I thought it was great. However, I don't like how you have no clue what you're doing at all. All right, do you like? You just don't like drops Bloodborne. you. Just think of Bloodborne's gameplay. You play Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Think of a little bit of Ninja Gaiden in this Ninja game. Gaiden. Smith. I mean, you, what's the game called? Aminusha. Inusha. Tamagotchi. Ah, Pokemon. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, sushi. Some other gameplay. Yeah, sushi. <laughs> sushi. And sushi. But this game's just a lot of other games. The main character in this game is a exact ripoff of The Witcher 3's Geralt, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks exactly I'm not like playing it. Fuck him. It takes place in Japan. It's a Japanese game. That's interesting, actually. So what I like about this game is 
you have like so nice. when you go up to battle someone, you have three different stances. You have a high stance, which is your power attacks. So you're gonna like the, you're slow as hell. You're slow, but they take a lot of damage. There's a mid stance, which is just the most the best stance you probably have because it's a like decent speed, decent damage, and he's kind of quick. Then there's the low stance where he's just ridiculously fast, and he, he doesn't do too much damage, but he will hit you with like ten shots with the sword. So basically, this game is ridiculously difficult. If you get hit like twice, you're dead. If Dope. you get hit by a big dude with like a huge axe or something, you're dead one shot. So you're kind of fucked. You have to like roll around. It's kind of like Bloodborne. Oh, that way. okay. Yeah. You dodge, roll. Oh, you can't. But it's a lot better roll. because you can actually like switch up your stances. Like you can literally go high stance for a power attack, switch in the middle of it to a middle stance. Go like you can combo it off. So it's really cool. Like that this loot you can get in the game, armor, shit like that. Um, what else is in the game? I didn't play too much because I fucking died ridiculously. <laughs> It took me like 10 tries to beat the first enemy I faced. It was that hard. <laughs> oh, I was like, are you kidding me? And then it was, there was this huge ass red sword in the beginning. I didn't know it in the beginning of the game, but it's like whole circle. I didn't read it. It said to fight like a dead enemy or something. I was like, what? Like a dead enemy? <laughs> so I, I pressed circle. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick up this fucking huge sword. And this motherfucker comes out, this dead ass guy with a huge sword just slices me in the head. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> but it's a really fun game. It's really punishingly hard. But, uh, it's really cool things you have rocks with you. So say there's like five enemies over there, you do not want to go Was up and face. Didn't he have rocks with Bloodborne? I don't know. No, you did. I thought you did. Nah. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. So you just keep so, going. See, so you have like a group of five enemies over there. Me, at first, not knowing how to use my rocks or anything like that, I walked up to all five, and they smothered me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how in hell do I beat all these five people? And then I learned, you can take your rocks, throw it at their heads, one by one, and they will come out, you draw them out, and you face them one by one and just take them all out. But it's just cool, like that. So you, can, you do stealth, they have bow and arrows. So you can fucking like do headshots with the bow. It'll take like, a lot of damage. So there's like a stealth aspect to it. Um, one thing I didn't like is like if you fall in the water, you're automatically dead. Ugh. But this is a hey, demo. I think it's a pre alpha something like that. It wasn't even like beta. But it looks really good. Um, more interesting than Dark Souls to me and, and Bloodborne. It looks funner. Alright. Because Dark Souls and Bloodborne is just... Dodge, roll, hit, dodge, roll. Move one, you can have a, a high weapon and a mid weapon. You can go low. You can do that too. Fuck that was. Yeah, it's like a stance. Like you, you have go. a sword or you have a giant axe. So like, your, your weapon turns into an axe like you put together. Yeah, I never played both. Right? I used a chain. What the fuck that was? Oh, okay, chain. Yeah, I remember that. My biggest criticism of this game, though, is the stamina. I know, I think in, uh, I don't know, Bloodborne, but Dark Souls, if you run out of like stamina, you're obviously slower in your movement. Mm -hmm. In this game, if say your stamina depletes from using the sword, um, you literally are stuck for two seconds. Like your guy will just be tired and just be stuck there. Which leaves you open for a hit and you're dead at night. Oh, fantastic! Oh, counter counter side of that is the enemies do that as well. Oh, so if right. they're like tired, they'll stand still and you can just slice them up. But I, that's how I died most of my times. Just, just I was an idiot and just went in there with my sword and then I got tired. I stopped and then he hit me and I died. Bloodborne, I used the double axe. So yeah, yeah. Overall, I thought it was a fun game. War Handler. Um, yeah, I, I recommend you try it out. Okay. I think you might like it. Alright. Cut. Alright, topic 7. Nintendo NX is delayed until March 2017. Basically, this is a smart decision by Nintendo. Interesting. Interesting decision. You think it's a smart one? You think it's a good decision on their part? I don't know. Have you seen their controller? The new one? The one that just got copyrighted and shit? Mm. It's a horseshit. Oh, I heard about that. I didn't look at it. What? It feels like you're driving like a fucking spaceship. It's an actual... They're actual it's a horseshoe, yep. Which is interesting, but I don't know why they can't just give us a fucking controller! This is really the controller? Yeah, horseshoe. Like... Like they just can't, like they just can't go with the flow and just give us a control. No, they gotta give us a fucking dodecahedron. Well, I mean, dodecahedron. The Wii U, the Wii U, that you got a controller like two years later, dude. Uh, <laughs> he enjoyed it actually. We did, so I can't complain because it was only three years into the fucking future. Uh, N64 controller like four years later. The only thing is, uh, the only reason I think they did this is because Zelda. I think they deleted that too, right? They deleted it till March, so they come out with a console. I don't think they had games ready. 
Long I don't time. think they got anything ready. Because I think they got a controller ready. I don't need, yeah, they got <laughs> they, they, uh, a horseshoe, Susie. You didn't even need to get that copyrighted. Nobody was going to use it. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody was going to be like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm going to go get one. I'm going to get a horseshoe fucking controller. Well, they released one for PS4. Let's see how that sells. Probably would, because it's Sony. They'd be like, oh, well, you know what? I'll go out all in. And then everyone will get it, they would have because they're like, you know what, man, maybe they know what they're doing, and they bring it home and be like, wow, this was a terrible idea, Sony. And they'll be like, yeah, my bad, guys, we won't do it again. Why? And Nintendo's like, oh, I'm going to do it again Didn't with the have... Nintendo 2. <laughs> no, PS actually, PS2, I think, had a horseshoe controller. Like a... PS2? Yeah, but it was like for a specific game. Like, oh, it man. wasn't the controller for the fucking thing. What is with them and making these weird things? Why can't The Wii controller was decent. But it was still like, I still had a real controller. controller. Like you could turn it sideways and it was kind of like an actual controller. Just like with like a few missing buttons. I but that was alright. But I like, I just want a controller, man. Why like, can't it just be like a controller? Like Nintendo 64? Maybe, controller. maybe. And this is, I'm giving them a lot of credit if this is what they're doing. The, they tried this horseshoe thing out and it's just like way better than a normal controller like you can get to buttons quicker You just have a lot better like a lot more control. Maybe they did some research You hope and this and it. this horseshoe shape we're thinking is nuts is just absolutely revolutionary maybe maybe or They have a child in the back of their fucking wherever they are Drawing random shapes and they're like that one. That's what the new controller is gonna look like. And they're like, we'll take it. But I don't know. I Good job, little Timothy. Little Timothy. They better just. They're not gonna. Oh yeah, at E3 they only have. Think Zelda. about it. This is this is this is it, guys. This is what you got for us. And at E3 they're only gonna have Zelda to play at the booth. Literally Zelda. That's it. Which is just weird. So you got nothing else to play, just Zelda. Gonna give them more they, credit and say, what if they got some other things in the work they don't want to show yet? That's giving them more credit than they deserve, though. I don't know. They're not going to announce anything at E3, obviously. I want Nintendo to come back from this, guys. I want you to rise from the ashes. Come on. Please. As a Nintendo fan, you're letting me down. <laughs> Huge Nintendo fan of me. I'm... Don't say it too loud. I don't want <laughs> anyone to know. <laughs> Alright, so well, obviously. You know what? You know what? a huge Zelda fan, huge Pokemon fan. Spet Release <laughs> Conquer's oh, Bad Fur Day again. That's it. That's all you need. I would buy the new con the new console if it came with Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That game was dope. They need a whole bunch of games. You guys have to try Conquer's Bad Fur Day. They're gonna need you guys need to try Conquer's Bad Fur Day. They're gonna have to have the Zelda on launch, the a Mario game, or fucking Metroid yeah. game. They're gonna so, need a lot of things. If they brought about, if they brought a new Metroid game, that would probably help. I think they will. They have to. They uh, they got a new Star Fox game. That came out. Did it? Apparently it was shit. <laughs> I thought, no, I thought another one came out. Like uh, no, this one came out. Did it? It's, uh, it's I'm literally very disappointed. a complete replica of the old Star Fox game. They changed nothing, and it's actually apparently even worse than the original. Like they changed things that they shouldn't have changed. And people are not liking it. Yeah, and there are people waiting for like a Metroid game now, and it's not gonna happen. I for think a it while. will. No, for a while. I think it's gonna come out at launch because if they don't do it at launch, they're fucking. St that's stupid. I'm not even. I'm not even thinking about buying a goddamn NX at this point. It's just I don't understand their logic. Just fucking make games for PlayStation and just, Xbox and just make mad money. I think that's just, what they should do. They just need to like take, imagine, take a step like, away Pokemon from all so the rated E. You know I'm buy that right away. <laughs> if there was a Pokemon game for PlayStation, PlayStation that's I'm buying it right now. I don't understand why they don't do that. They just. They're just fucking too family. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, yep. Yeah. No way. I was looking for a mad one, they can't let you bring up the touchpad one. Are you fucking kidding Should me? Should I bring up the camera? Wait. No, we'll, we'll put a picture no, up. No, we won't. Yes, we will, I will. Oh, yeah, you will. Wait, how do you hold this? Picture. Shut the fuck up, asshole. So you have to hold it like this? Huh? No, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is down here? Like. Why? That's a good question. That's a lot of room not being used. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of room. This is. Oh wait, 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 wait. That looks like you have to hold it like this. Yes. Yes. I know. No, no. What if it? Well, yeah, no. That's the pad right there. And the that makes no sense. Where's the handles down here? What handles? There's no handles. A fucking horseshoe. <laughs> no, I mean you said if you held it upside down, upside down it wouldn't work. At all. What direction is correct? <laughs> that is. Just Look at the charging port. The charging port's on the back, all, all, all the way up here and shit. Why did? What the heck is that, dude? 
Maybe maybe there's a heart rate sensor down here or some shit like like all Yeah, the when your heart rate just starts rising because you're so annoyed with this fucking <laughs> controller and you just wow. you gotta go to the hospital and it warns you when you get to the one fifty rate. I honestly don't feel like that's the real controller. No, it's it, it was patented or whatever, but I feel like that's just an extra controller, kinda like how Sony had it for the PS2 or whatever. True. Because I always see the touchpad one. I looked up NX controller and all the touchpad shit came up. And that's it. That shit I had to look up horseshoe controller for this. That shit must be getting a lot of like negative feedback. Oh, it is, probably. So obviously once they see that, they're going to be like, I'll change the idea now. <laughs> so it's it's infinite warfare. How does Nintendo like not see any of this and so go, wow, cool. This won't go away. <laughs> go away, infinite warfare, you <laughs> fucking assholes. Buy it now. Bye. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say about Nintendo. I, I really hope... I, I want them to make a comeback, but I feel like they're not going to be able to do what that. What the fuck? Keep releasing these games. It looks like this, like, right here. It's an attachment to hold one handle and the other handle at the same time. Right there. How the fuck does that even make sense? What? They have to release an attachment before it's even released. <laughs> <laughs> and all I know is... Oh, look at, yo, yo, look at Zac Efron getting ripped. What the fuck? Yo, oh my god. Oh, yo, yo, he's fucking ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's fucking ripped. Anyways. Baywatch is sexy. Alright. Yeah, apparently there's a new like, Baywatch movie coming out. Uh, it's like Frost. That camera is actually good now. I actually like him. Yeah, yeah, he's a good actor. Okay, I want to see Dirty Grandpa, by the way. Really off the topic here, but. <laughs> Anyways. But, uh, and then the NX better be unlocked. <laughs> Somebody put official NX controller. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm going to say that image and send it to you. You put it in the fucking pocket. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You might as well at this point to be honest with you. Next topic. Um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, cut the candy. And they like, where the fuck did I go? They like wondering where I went. They're like shooting everywhere. I guess they like, the bullets flying around. And like, and I just waited for like 10 minutes. Just came out and just left. <laughs> None of them get me. It's just cool like that. Like, like so much immersion into the game. I like that about game. It. I, don't I, don't I can that. see where he's coming from. Like, like I feel like, like if mm, you had a bunch stuff. of friends playing together, it'd be a lot funner. Because one guy can drive a vehicle. That would be a lot better. Shoot like, the top. Like Jeep. I like. I wouldn't mind a jeep or a motorcycle or some shit like that. But it's like when you got a tank coming around the corner every time, just blowing you up. Yeah. It's just fucking annoying. It's just I don't, a cool I don't, I don't like the recoil of the game. It seems really unrealistic when you're in the army and your recoil is like all over the fucking place. You're, I think tra you're trained to fucking hold those guns for your life. You're not no, gonna be like, like this everywhere. No, you're gonna be like this. You're gonna have a little bit of recoil, but you're not gonna be everywhere like they are. You shoot at one wall like right? this, this far, and it'll be like all the way around, do, making like a fucking Z. <laughs> <laughs> like Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's true. Um, I do like how it's big and you got like you got you can do all kinds of shit. And it's yeah, like I like a little bit of recoil. No, no, it's fine, but it's yeah. too much. Okay. So you're trained. You're a trained military. So what do we want then? Do we want like a separate mode or just like certain maps? Me personally, that just don't have it. I like to have dedicated servers. I think Battlefield 4 had them, yep. which is awesome. Dedicated servers is the number one thing for multiplayer shooter. And then I like. I would like smaller maps too, but I would like the option to play. Yeah, options are good. That's just all I want. Just an option. Like I don't want just that. Like do whatever you want with your game, but give me an option. But I, they already gave me what I wanted before. Is Boots on the ground, World War One, which is awesome. So I think they will have smaller maps as an option. Well, I heard that that's gonna be really complicated of a game because World World War One took place in one spot, yeah, and they're gonna true. make a campaign mode out of that. Where they're gonna, gonna obviously go? they're gonna obviously add some. Yeah, I was thinking they're gonna add some bullshit. Something because World War One is just literally in the trenches. Yeah, you know, there's just trench warfare the whole time. It's like, what are you gonna really show us? <laughs> it's like yeah. one map. You're in the trenches the whole time. Have fun. <laughs> Kevin, your, your, main, your main goal is to survive because you're starving to death. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta like stealthily find your way around the kitchen to get crackers and Fuck shit. Fuck it, that is! I turned run for your lives! But it's just, uh, Kevin, I really can't wait. Nowhere. This trailer will show us what we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll see what we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll see. I think that's it, guys. Thank Enough. you for watching. If you want Next to... video, stay tuned. We're Next podcast. Me, uh, whatever. Yeah, fuck you. No, that's good. Yeah. Next, next podcast, awesome. whatever. Next podcast, we're gonna do an uncharted, uh, an uncharted four unboxing. Stay tuned. We're gonna give, we're gonna be giving some stuff away. All right, guys. About three different prizes: first, second, and third. Obviously, you're gonna want some of this shit. All right, so just stay tuned for the next podcast. We're gonna unbox the was a special or limited edition of Uncharted, collector's the collector's edition. edition of Uncharted. We'll we'll probably reveal the the giveaway prize. Yep. And, uh, 
Real yeah. now you can enter into the prize. Yep. Yeah. Talk about that next week. Perfect. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace out.